this project in, in Little Houghton is a two megawatt solar farm. The project is part of a larger scheme called Unlocking Clean Energy in Greater Manchester and as part of that project we've been able to secure European Regional Development funding towards the solar farm at Little Houghton which is being match funded by Salford City Council. Like with any solar farm, it takes a lot of collaboration to get a project like this moving. Everything from planning permission, design, DNO applications, connectivity to the grid, and obviously trying to build all of that within a cost that makes sense for the client. We're going to be able to generate two megawatts of power. It's an important first step for us. It will save us money, it will reduce our carbon footprint and it will make it a cleaner and fairer city. To identify the site, we looked at sort of all, all the sort of uh, spare bits of land we had across the city. We made a sort of desktop exercise to explore which ones were, were suitable for uh, solar panels. The solar farm is a key strategic project that enables us to demonstrate our move towards carbon neutrality. As well as saving the taxpayer money, which means it can be spent on more exciting things than buying energy from the grid. In everything we do, we're assessing what we're going to do in terms of everyday normal business and how we can do the same thing but have an impact on reducing our carbon footprint. Solar farms are made up of a few key components. The solar panels themselves take the light from the sun and generate DC electricity which is fed into an inverter which then converts that into AC electricity which is then connected to the, the building or into the grid. The Little Holton Solar Farm project is important to Salford City Council because it's the first solar farm that we've undertaken as a council. We're hoping that the solar farm will be complete and installed in October this year and it shows Salford's commitment towards hitting our carbon neutrality targets and working to a greener future. It's everyone's responsibility. The slower we are, the more we'll feel the impacts of climate change.